Wait, totally accurate battle simulator. I've played this game. But one of the things that I really enjoy is the custom campaigns. And look at this. We've got a new faction specifically related to new factions. This one is called the Mechanical Core. Now, they kind of look like something out of Fallout in a way, like Caesar's Legion. Maybe there's some steampunk robots. I don't know, but uh, let's find out. So I'm going to try to beat them using only default units. And for whatever reason, we have some starting swordsmen out on the field of battle in this shadow of the colossus or rather wait does he have a he kind of has a mustache and beard going he didn't used to did he but look i digress this okay this guy kind of looks like he's a mix of you know a circus carney and uh, a gladiator with his little greave on his foot and then he got a hold of uh the police force weaponry or something because we got a couple of these guys so the dual wielders and we've got two thousand dollars hmm well i think I can ambush these guys. You know what we probably want to use is actually the dynastic samurai because they can actually block some incoming projectiles. So if we just two for one these guys and then, you know, ah, I think we got to switch it up to maybe painters. Painters are really good at dodging and they're cheap and that, that's kind of what we need right now. So we'll, we'll triple up in some cases, just to make sure we have enough forces to defeat the enemy. And uh, let's actually see. Okay, Samurai, please. Hold on a second. I is he on my side? One of them has defected and converted to our forces, and these guys have an incredible fire rate. I should have expected that, given the fact that they have semi-automatic pistols, and there are more than one of them in each of their hands. So... But I guess we do have the benefit that there are a few on my side. So if we can defeat these guys... Man, are they wearing some, like, Kevlar-style body armor? Reload! your pistols and shoot that man i i, I have a i have a bad oh I, I thought we were losing this side okay so the first unit of the mechanized core oh these guys look like they're carrying some german submachine gun surplus world war ii and once again this is definitely like a faction out of the fallout series you know you, you got like modern weaponry and then ancient armor yeah i'm definitely getting caesar's legion vibes and isn't wasn't there some leak about a new fallout new vegas game i thought there was well, these guys are surrounded right so and we got fifteen hundred dollars i'm gonna have two sniping musketeers and then painters to distract and you know what actually one of the units i like to use is a berserker they're usually pretty good at mixing things up and messing things up and then i think some cheap ranged units that can go in a little bit closer and we'll go with one more painter okay all right so the viking berserkers rushing in there making impact oh these guys have high mass they were not stopped okay musketeers y'all really need to be doing some snipey sniping because uh we're dying fire okay we have killed an entire two of them hmm this does not bode well at all we just don't have the money so archers didn't seem to do well these guys have a lot more armor than maybe i would have guessed maybe our solution is just to have more hopefully the hoplites can survive long enough and okay that's interesting so multiple of these guys were hit right but only one died so what's with the discrepancy in health here uh oh they're starting to chew through our hoplites and our musketeers are not reloaded i think this one's a loss as well. Ballistas are too expensive, but they do do high damage. Oh, wait a minute. There's a chance. All right. Do you think we can get a collateral here? Man, the reload animation. Let's let's try to go for a collateral. I got him lined up. I got him in the hip. Oh, we won. Now, I don't think it was a collateral per se, but I'll happily take that victory to the bank. Okay. Oh, no. If you thought the last guy's armor was significant, now they've got, like, riot shields and shotguns. These guys are close combat specialists. How do you beat that? Hmm. Well, I'm definitely thinking of Ballista. And maybe snakes could distract him? But then we don't have a whole lot of money, so now we're going to have to have our chaff. And we still have 600 bucks. We'll, we'll keep two snipers. And then... Yeah, okay. Ballista, please take out one of those shieldy boys right off the bat. Okay, this guy just got shot with a musket ball. Deflected. Nothing happened. Oh my god, the shotguns! Oh, this is bad. Where's the... Oh, you hit the wrong dude! Okay. Shotguns don't care if you can dodge. <laughs> There's enough pellet projectiles to hit wherever you're trying to run to. And the ballista just seems to not be fast enough. Maybe we might want to use some secret units. Oh, okay. Do we want to break 
take out the secret weapon right off the bat. I mean, I don't know if these units are balanced. You know what else isn't balanced? The present elf. <laughs> it feels a little bit cheap, but you know what? I mean, desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, we got, we luckily got a super boxer. So I think we're okay. There's only one present elf still left alive. Oh God, Lady True there. Oh my God, are they able to defeat a super boxer? Okay, <laughs> this is a problem. This is a serious, serious problem. We'll move them. Wait, do we want to move them closer? Or do we want to move them farther? Let's see how there's one present. <laughs> that guy's dead. Hey, Skelly Giant. Excellent. Okay, so it turns out we actually want to be closer. But the Skeleton Giant should... Oh, there's a tornado. Now, does it push them back? The Mechanized Core Faction is pretty beast. Oh, and we got a Ballisto at close range, blocking a teacher. Because why not? Dude, I, I really love the way this guy's holding a gun. <laughs> okay, uh, we won, right? So if, if I can't beat them using normalized tactics, we're going to have to uh, use the present elves. Now, do we have a new unit? This guy not wanting to use his shield properly. There's some kind of a boss unit for the mechanized core. Let's try raptors. <laughs> Send in the dinosaurs. You know, it's like Jurassic World, right? They, they say the dinosaurs will inherit the earth. Well, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the plot hole in the new Jurassic World series is modern weaponry should be able to kill dinosaurs very easily as it did a pretty good job on the first wave. Look at that. Look at how many raptors died in the making of this episode. I mean, they got shields and shotguns and submachine guns and pistols. We only have a few raptors left. So raptors are what? They cost, what, 500 bucks, I think? Clearly too expensive. We have a Jarl still alive, though. If they can distract long enough for these guys to get here. Look at that. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, man. I still remember it. nostalgia right here. I remember telling Will in Sweden, like, oh, man, the first person mode made me think of, like, when you're getting attacked, at, like, dinosaurs, like, raptors in the high grass and then the next day he made a raptor it's like whoa and now here they are in the game dude hey we got a victory we didn't cheese it oh okay we got guys hiding in the grass these guys definitely look new and they're wearing some special ops like night vision stuff and that is that a 50 caliber or a bar that's a that's some kind of i don't know what that is how much money do I have? a thousand bucks uh oh hmm what if we just try to rush them with swords i don't expect this to work oh man these guys got like 50 caliber sniper rifles so high damage but low fire rate. We need chaff units. But are they weak? We have one guy left and he makes a hit, dodges a bullet. The other guy's gonna shoot him. Okay, so they're weak. They're glass cannons. Got it. Hobbits. Hobbits, hobbits, hobbits. That's what we need. Send in the hobbits. That way more units will survive by the time they get there. It's a shame that we can't see them a little bit better. What they look like, like, oh, oh that was a collateral that killed so many hobbits right there. As if a great voice of thousands of hobbits cried out to me. Hey, there we go. Victory on that front. And this looks like it's gonna go pretty well the guy can't fire so that is a victory okay oh <gasps> uh oh new unit new unit alert he's got a bazooka and he's wearing if you were playing escape from tarkov well that is like tier six battle armor look. and look i like how the medieval faction the king has decided to join forces with us okay well then what we're gonna do is have a you berserkers in the front. We'll have a sniper up there. And then we'll have headbutters to distract at least the first shots. I mean, we have so much money. Oh, that bazooka's gonna suck. All right, more berserkers. Because if one of those can get uh, back there and get some friendly fire with that bazooka, that would be huge. And then we'll get some painters to support the leading army here. Okay, <laughs> right off the bat, you can see shotguns really, really suck. And the bazooka hasn't even fired yet. But, oh, we got some friendly fire a little bit. There's AOE on that bazooka. Yeah, berserk. Yes. Okay. Maybe it wasn't tier six armor. That guy is like the dude who spends all his rubles, goes out and gets scav shot with a shotgun in the face. Who here has played Escape from Tarkov? I actually haven't played it in maybe half a year, but I'm kind of curious about getting back. It's not a game that, it'd be a game that would I would stream if I stream. If I was to stream, should I stream on YouTube or Twitch? Anyway, this, there's three giant phalanxes with multiple, multiple bazookas. I need, I need snipe. Red team wins. Oh my God. I got to defeat them in a time frame. I got to... Whoa, 86, 85. Why can I only read half of you? Okay, there we go. It's shrinking. That was super strange. I guess it's like, hey, remember, there's a timer here. Uh, is it going well? I mean, we're trying to use guns against guns. Man, that is some incredible fire rate. Yeah, we still have a minute left and there's only a few. I think we, I think we got a good chance here. Look at this. Battle axes versus bazookas. Who wins? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does. Everybody dies. Okay, who's left alive? Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Uh oh no, we got, we got the special spec ops soldiers here. Caesar's Legion's Elite Corps just arrived and they got all fully automatic weaponry. Oh, great. Oh, but at least we're, we're sniping them with our dead eyes. Wait a minute, no, what are you doing? Why are you holding them back? Let the king go. Oh God, okay. Dead eye was not enough to defeat that. I got 33 seconds, but yeah. The king, oh king, what are we gonna do about this? Okay, how do we beat this? We need aerial units, but I'm afraid that the fight Viking Valkyries, which I want to rely on, will get shot by shotgun guys. Yeah, where did... Oh, there's spear boys back here. But I can't put units... The closest units I can put are, like, way up here. Huh. That sucks. I need... You know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We'll have a, a front line of painters right here to distract so that when I drop my present elves in... Dude, present elves are an absolute game changer. Easily the unit that has had the biggest effect on this game, I would say. And they came in like a ninja holiday update, man. By the way, I absolutely love the idea of holiday updates. Okay, presents are out. Once those presents start crashing, we should have a few elves that should survive long enough to be able to put down more than one present. That's the hope. Oh, look at that. We got two Vlad the Impalers out there. All right. Oh, we got a Monkey King. That will definitely help. He just launched a present way over here. Now, is it a, a new one? Oh, dude, if that would have popped out, like, I don't know, an ice giant right there in front of the elite soldiers. Ooh, we got a ballista, but it's dead. Present elves. Oh, that bazooka just fired and missed a bunch of them. Oh, we got a Gatling gun. Heck yeah. I gotta take command of this. I gotta take command. I gotta take command. We're firing so fast. The sound files are borked. Oh, God, this is not good. This is not good. Wow. These guys even beat the present elves? Huh. Back to the drawing board. RNG. What I'm gonna do is hope. If I form them differently, then more presents will fire right away and hopefully less elves die or at least more disruption to that initial formation happens. I mean, that's a lot of presents. Oh, yes. Look at that. We got an elite one. Wait, was that Thor's hammer? Oh, that is Thor's hammer. Yes, sir. We are getting some good RNG on our side right now. We got money bags out there. Yeah. Grim Reaper doesn't care who you are. He's dead though, which is unfortunate, but he- Oh, hello. I'm GG. Nice to meet you. Wait. Yeah. Just go ahead and kill all those guys, will you? Because I want to see what a mechanical cores boss unit is. <laughs> I love the uh, hands that just flop block every projectile there is. Yeah, wait, these guys are blocking projectiles too. And it's apparently bring your kid to work day. What did we tell you about child soldiers? That is against the Geneva Convention, but I'm sure the dark peasant is also against the Geneva Convention. I mean, people bring hobbits to war. So, I mean, it's, I guess, I guess there's not too much. Yeah, how are you blocking arrows and dodging? <laughs> they block it with their little M16s. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, see? Okay, what's going on here? The enemy is defending the hill. Ooh, beheading. I know what I want to do with this one. All Vikings. Just massive amounts. Charge! Okay, they all just landed in one spot. So they weren't able to get fully up that hill. Oh, but there we go. The second hop is out. These guys are really good. Yes! The Vikings have disrupted almost the entire formation. There's two elite soldiers still alive. One's trying to get to the third tier of that fort, but he's dead. This is working out. Oh. Okay, we got some of them on our side, right? Or do we? Let's see. Oh, I'm in here. And then Skelly Warriors can hit? Could put snipers up there. But I'm gonna try this. Spooky Faction wants some... Ugh. Oh my. That is bad. That's what you call a terrible strategy. Oh, and they have the guys in there that are definitely on their team. Okay, well, that didn't work. And they got shoddy boys over here. I think Chieftain next to each one of these guys should be able to club them. They do high damage. So that's your task. Now I gotta figure out how to get rid of these guys. The tribal faction wants a chance. We'll put a bone mage in here to lead it. Joined by the Renaissance because they apparently have copious amounts of painters. Lots of starving artists out there, I guess. All right. Okay. <laughs> These shotguns, man. Oh, that's a painter flying off. I thought we got, I thought we scared one of them. I guess if we put present elves up there. Oh, look at that. These guys are working, man. Just not very good. There's the chieftains. Start clubbing them. Oh yeah. It seems like one club's good enough to knock these guys out. Wait, did we win the other flank? Oh, two of them did join us. Okay. This is going to be, we, we just got to see this from the bird's eye view and see who wins this. Oh man. This is where most of our army is. Oh dude. One shotgun boy just holding down close quarters. The choke points. All right, we need present elves. <laughs> okay. You you all did this. And by I mean you all, I mean the me mechani mechanical core. Present elves on the cliffs of Dover. Not really. Turn my snare drum down. No, you don't have to. Do the elves die? Yes, they do. My strategy sucks again. <laughs>
and I'll buy some time with Renaissance painters on the flank. But all my all my uh, big boys are in the middle here. Oh, okay. We got four of these guys on our team. Huh. Let's see how this works. There we go. L uh, it's like they're firing like stun grenades, but these stun grenades are presents with random units popping out. And apparently we just like to call out cavalry. These guys are just kicking butt. This is not working. Look at that lasso guy. Hey, he lassoed one. Okay. The pirate queen is here getting shot to death. Huh. Big guys are moving in. All right. So that, that wasn't the way to do it. We got to put them out more. I think. Let's see if that works. Not one of the presents has gone out. Oh my god, a Viking ship! And a cactus boy, and a joker. Eh. And then their traitorous guys are actually doing most of the damage. Sir, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but that was hilarious. All right, these guys. Oh, we have a, we had a sword master. I don't know where he is now. He blew up. We have no elf. Oh, we have one elf. Where's your present, big guy? Do you only throw one present now? Or did I? Oh, you know what it was? I think, <laughs> I think I threw a present and the present was an elf. Let's see. Yep. All right. I think I've got to survive here. Wait, I think that was a present elf popping out a present. No, don't push me to the front lines. I am not your human shield. Now I'm dead. All right. We're missing a key ingredient here. In order to pull this off, I need Viking berserkers to jump off. This is like a wrestling thing where they jump off. What's that? What's that copy past about the guy? <laughs> the Undertaker <laughs> jumping off the top, whatever it was. Now the present elves should be able to fire. Hopefully. I mean, we're present elves are losing. That's where we are right now. Okay, there we go. First presence out. Oh, that's a chariot. That's a <laughs> great time to call in a chariot. You know, when <laughs> Oh my gosh. We just need one super peasant or dark peasant, I think. Wow, we're actually winning this flank. Oh, yeah. All right, two pistoly boys against a dude with a shield. That shot. Oh, oh, rock. Rock to the face. Knocked him unconscious. He probably fell off the battlements now. Ooh, we got the sniper again. Okay, easy, easy. You know what it is. You know my preferred strategy here is apparently these guys. Now we'll have one down here, and then I'm going I'm to have archers up there. All right, let's see how these guys do. None of them got shot and knocked off in the air, which is pretty cool. Now the frosty boys fire and the king is moving in in the distance. Oh yeah, I love this. Hey man, I'm on your team. If you could just like not shoot me in the face with an arrow, that would be great. Wow, Vikings. Mechanized core versus some frosty boys. Okay, you wanna see something funny? I sure do. If he gets this shot off and kills them all, I'll just be impressed. Oh. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I love tabs for those little silly things right there. Okay. I think what we need is a Valkyrie and then I need like the fastest unit possible. I mean, I don't, I don't think these are the fastest unit possible, but oh, he tried to shoot the Valkyrie and he missed. So the Valkyrie is going to get the final shot. I think, man, headbutters are not super fast. There we go. But they distracted long enough for a Valkyrie to stabby stab. Are we, are we at the boss level yet? Oh, look, they want me to use Vikings. Charge! Many Vikings died. Ooh, but the Jarl's still alive. All right, Viking Berserkers. If there's ranged units and you can use, oh my God, this is terrifying. Okay, wait a minute. I don't have any money. I have one gold. I can't, can't make anything. Is this, that's not even legal. Win in 150 seconds, you put, no! The mechanized core is cheaters. Oh no. We have encountered a fatal error. Is it a bug or is it a feature? Yeah, they want me to use a dude with a sword against dudes with guns. That's a shame. That is a shame. Bards, I mean, I can't place anything. It's called assassination. This is assassinating the campaign. Well, I want to see if there is a boss unit, right, that we can play. So what we're going to do is go to factions. I don't think there is. I think, buddy, see, I wanted to see that boss guy in the back, but I'd say we did pretty well. So if you guys want to see more Totally Aggro Battle Simulator, let me know. Pull the trigger on the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.